So, story time. Time for me to fucking ramble. Not really trying with this video. I'm not editing. It's sh sh shot on my fucking cell phone. Um, but this story, this can be considered a lot of things. This could be, you know, my experience with the school to prison pipeline. Um, how I have a, 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 how I had a juvenile record without even fucking trying, really. Um, uh, or, you know, why I moved to Pennsylvania. But, whatever you want to call it. Let me begin. So, when I was 15, in the summer of 2006, my family picked up and we, we relocated to Pennsylvania. We lived in New Jersey before that. And the reason we moved, there was a couple reasons for it. But one of the big ones, I'm honestly the biggest one for me, was the fact that the school that I went to wanted to put me in fucking jail. Wanted me to have a criminal fucking record. And it wasn't just me, you know. Um, so basically, when I was in ninth grade, my first high school, I was only there for a year, just ninth grade, they would, were just so authoritative, they would call the cops over fucking anything, you know, stuff that if you did it, you know, at a high school out here, you know, you'd get fucking detention, maybe a suspension, and that would be it. No, down there, they just went right, right to cops every fucking time, right to cops. And it wasn't like, you know, detentions and suspensions. Like, weren't a thing, they were, but the way it would work was, like, you would get cuffed, you would get put in a squad car, you'd go get fucking processed, possibly fucking charged, Just, you know, the charges didn't always stick, but you would get fucking processed. And, uh, afterwards, you would have to serve out, you know, a suspension from the school, or, you know, detention, whatever. Well, I got arrested six times in my life. Uh, all of which were before I was 18, thankfully. Um, so, you know, it all got expunged. I can, I could, you know, I have a clean record. It's cool. Uh, despite me, you know, I wasn't a good kid. I really wasn't. But most of my shenanigans happened outside of school. Uh, when I was in school, honestly, my number one priority was just getting through the fucking school day. So I could just, you know, go the fuck home. That's all I really cared about. But... Um, so, of the six times I was arrested, four of them, four of them, was over the span of this one school year. So, two-thirds, this one fucking, my ninth grade year, got me two-thirds of my juvenile record. Without even fucking trying. Uh, let's see. I got arrested for shoving a kid. Um, I got arrested for throwing a sandwich. I got arrested for just straight up, just getting in a fight. Um, and the, the, the dumbest one, the dumbest one, I got arrested for speaking, speaking during a lockdown. They said that I, uh, caused a terroristic threat and, um, I put other students in danger. Cause basically the lockdowns were for like, you know, if there was like an active shooter or whatever, we had an escaped convict, like run through the fucking uh, football field. So we had a lockdown. Um, but yeah, basically because I spoke, they're like, well, what if there was a shooter? You could, you could have drawn them to the classroom and they would have killed all the fucking kids. Like, oh my God, there's, there's kids in class during the school day. Holy fuck, dude. No school shooter is going to figure that shit out. But, um, and there was all, there was a fifth time where, um, I did get let out in cuffs and put in a squad car, uh, because I, um, I called a kid a slur because he dumped his fucking drink on my head in the lunchroom. Um, but that doesn't count as an arrest because I didn't get processed. The cop just took me home. But, you know, it wasn't even, it wasn't even as simple as like, oh, well, you know, why don't you just switch schools? Well, the schools, the school was half the fucking problem. All right. Because you got to remember it was the cops. And it's, part of the reason I'm so anti-cop now, it was the pig bitch fucking New Jersey State Troopers. We're half the problem because they were the ones entertaining this shit. They were the ones coming to the school at behest of the administrators and arresting kids and trying to charge them with fucking assault because, oh, fucking uh, one kid, you know, knocked another kid's books out of his fucking hand. Like, you know, just stupid, stupid, just anything, bro, anything. It was just cops. And, you know, if the cops weren't a bunch of pig bitches, how they should have handled it was they should have said to the administration, like, hey, Call us for emergencies only. Call us if someone brings a weapon to school or vandalizes the fucking place. Okay? Like, 
quit this bullshit. But no, they didn't they didn't do that, right? You got you gotta get those fucking kids in the system somehow, right? So my dad, he um he wanted to uh he, he was he was messing around with the idea of moving. Uh uh moving to Pennsylvania because you know he would come out here to um to go boating and uh skiing and you know whatever the fuck. So he was he was familiar with the area and he was also uh he was also aware of the fact that at least at the time this was you know pre two thousand eight uh, housing market crash um, at the time uh housing costs and property taxes and everything was something like a quarter what they were in New Jersey New Jersey is a lot like the California of the East Coast very very high cost of living and a bunch of stupid fucking nonsensical authoritative laws and it's weird to think that like weed is legal in New Jersey now. And that's so fucking strange to me. Like, this is a place that, like, I have nothing but memories of it being just an authoritative fucking shithole. Like, you know, I remember I got stopped and frisked one time. And stop and frisk wasn't even a thing down there. But I got stopped and frisked by a cop one time for wearing long pants in the summer. He, uh, he said, oh, it's too hot to be wearing those pants. Like, how do I know you don't got, you know, track marks and fucking needles and shit? It's like, bro, I'm 14. Okay, like, you know, maybe maybe calm the fuck down. And, you know, this is not just a problem there. This is a problem all over the country, but it's gotten worse, okay? Because mind you, this was the 2005-2006 school year. And it this shit was only happening at the high school level at that point in the state of New Jersey. But, you know, in time since, you know, there have been stories in the news of, like, Kids in elementary school, like, second, third graders getting let out in fucking cuffs because they made a gun out of Legos. There's some some stupid fucking shit, you know? So, it's gotten a lot the fuck worse since, just in in the country as a whole. And, uh, as for the weed being legal, that's... <sighs> New Jersey's so fucking weird like that, man. It's like, you, you can't own a fucking, like, a, a handgun for self-defense without you know, appearing before a judge and getting, like, two different fucking permits, or it's a felony, you go to prison for ten years. Oh, but now you could just, you could just smoke weed in public now. Like, what the fuck? Um, although I shouldn't talk shit. Pennsylvania's no better. Pen Pennsylvania's the opposite. Pennsylvania, it's like, you could have a fucking, uh, you could have an AR loaded with a fucking hundred round double drum and a fucking binary trigger in that bitch, and it's completely legal. But if you got an ace of weed, you know, you're going to get your door kicked in and a fucking a cop's Glock shoved up your fucking asshole. <sighs> America's weird. But yeah, so my dad, you know, he was he was juggling the idea of, of moving out. But it was one day towards the end of the year. Um, he might have been he might have been picking me up from fucking holding. Honestly, I took my dad aside. And I'm like, listen, if we do not get the fuck out of here. I'm going to jail. I like like big boy jail. Like if I am if I am in this area, if I'm in this fucking school when I turn 18, they're going to put my ass in prison. They want me this school wants me in fucking jail, right? Um so, you know, we moved out here and like I was say I was the same fucking kid, but I maybe I I didn't get arrested. I didn't get arrested a in the next three years of high school that I finished in the state of Pennsylvania. I did not get arrested a single fucking time. I think I only got suspended like twice. So, yeah. Moral of the story is don't fucking let uh don't let anyone mainly mainly Republicans right Republican fucking boomers because they like to pretend this isn't a thing. Don't let them fucking tell you that the school to prison pipeline isn't real, right? Because it's a hundred fucking percent real. I was there. I lived it. And this was fucking... Oh, this was almost 16 years ago. And it's just gotten worse. So, yeah. Schools, don't fucking... Don't fucking do this, right? I don't know what else to say. I fucking... I'm just... I'm mad just honestly even thinking back to it. It's been so long. I'm fucking angry, but yeah. <sighs>